Hi, I'm Eli Roth. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today we will be watching one of my favorite trailers of all time, Three on a Meat Hook. I think this is probably the longest trailer with the least amount of actual footage from the movie. Enjoy. Because it touches the full spectrum of Zion. This is one of my favorite trailers of all time. Uh, I remember as a kid going to the video store and we had a rule that kind of the bigger the video box was, the worse the movie was, but at the same time, that's what, that's what would make it great. And there was a giant video box for three on a meat hook and it was, had a picture of three girls impaled on one meat hook. And in the movie, there's actually three different girls on three different meat hooks. So I remember feeling completely, completely ripped off when I saw the film. I was like, why don't they call this three on three meat hooks? There was a big thing kind of in the early 70s of girls getting, you know, impaled on meat hooks, which was then done in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which was made uh, two years after this film. Now, this trailer is one of my favorite trailers simply because it's so inexplicably long and there's absolutely no footage. I mean, I think they use maybe four shots the entire film and they have this crazy elaborate voiceover that's just so ultra serious where you're just listening to this guy and you're like, what in God's name is he talking about? He's like, dwelling like a lodger in the mind. And they build it up as if it's this really, really important, serious film. And then at the end, he just goes, three on a meat hook. And I just love that in 1972, somebody actually tried to sell this as if it was a real serious movie, uh, you know, like a real psychological thriller, you know, on par with, with Psycho, which you know, oddly, of course, is based on Ed Gain as well, but the movie's just called Three on a Meat Hook. One thing that I do think is great about this is that the trailer is so terrible, it actually reflects how bad the movie is. Like, it's kind of long and just, like, drawn out and poorly made and boring as this trailer is. That's, that's how bad the film is. Like, when you rent this movie, you're not disappointed because you expect it to be terrible, and it, it really, it really is. This film is directed by William Girdler, who has made some of my favorite rip-off movies of all time. And this is really a rip-off of Psycho. This is not a rip-off of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which came after. He made uh, Grizzly and Day of the Animals, which are kind of rip-offs of the birds. And he made one of the great, great exorcist rip-offs called Abby, which was a black exploitation exorcist film that actually uh, Warner Brothers, uh, they made that film illegal because it was such a rip-off. And this is a great, first of all, I love that look, um, the kind of booty shorts, that early 70s faded out, washed out look. And there they are. They're the three girls on three meat hooks. And of course, they don't really have enough footage, you know, to make a good trailer. So they, so they just freeze frame and they have a lot of black and the guy's just talking, 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 and then just goes three on a meat hook. Time by a puppeteer with blood on his hands. Little broken dog. So he's still talking. <laughs> What's he saying? What's he talking about? Why don't you just end? Three on a meat hook.